This guy laying it out sideways up there. Those yeah. Sayers, let me tell you something, having a drink with him after work's a whole different deal. Letting go of the handlebars floating to the backside, grabbing the handlebars to the line. Whoa! Stuck in a massive turn down with bouncing that thing off the red limiter here, the mid 450. Here comes Vicky. Vicky out there, super can as she brought those legs across. Again, the execution that she delivers is flawless on that trip. Nap, and he hung it out to the side of there. She can do one too when she sticks her body up straight. Sayers now, got to point this out. Heart attack, but that's a Canadian version of it from the Americans right there. And it slipped from Koha, get those hands off, little tribute to the rodeo riders. in the house, allow me to introduce to you the riders that will perform for you today. I've known this rider on this big red Honda since he was 15 years old. Back then, he was making the decision about which way to go. Should I ride rodeo or should I ride dirt bike? Well, since that 15 years, he has traveled all around the world, proudly representing Canada as the original outlaw of freestyle motocross, but these days, maybe not so much so, raising cattle on the very farm that he grew up with. But I can tell you something for sure, that deep down inside of there, he is still that outlaw. Ladies and gentlemen, he's brought to us by KSFMX, Parks Canada, Cynic Clothing, JC Power Sport, and of course, those, I mean, one day it was a wing suit flying along with his hands out, just about touching the cliff. Later on, he's doing things like base jumping in Peru, you know? <laughs> Might be a little out of place here on that motorcycle because he began to do this. He holds a world record in of the metal militia. It was in uh, 2000.